Welcome to Montfort Chatelet, a new metropolitan region to explore. Two cities that abut one another, very different personalities, very different growth patterns. I'm going to share with you the city that I've spent all summer working on, and remarkably, my computer continues to load it. So as long as it's doing that, I figure I might as well just go with it and share it with all of you. Now, this region uh, is kind of special to me because I've never done this sort of uh, double personality city. We have Montfort on one side of the train tracks with Chatelet on the other side. They share Avalon and Stadium Town, suburban areas, the university town of Piedmont, the farming community of Besterville, as well as Siremont, which is the factory uh, processing area, and Woodland, the airport and forestry, as well as New City, which is going to be built across the river. Um, now, I, as I'm bringing this to you, we can see that uh, on the Montfort side, it, I have very meticulous growth patterns where I've placed every single last building myself, whereas on the other side of the tracks in Châtelet, it's a bit different where I've grown impatient and I've just zoned and let the AI take over. Um, both sides are, are different, but you can't really tell until you get down to street level, um, mostly because the street grid is built similarly um, by yours truly, but um, the, the types of buildings, the sizes of the lots vary, um, the architecture, the layout of the transit system uh, varies so greatly that we have two different uh, characters here. On this side is the Montfort Central Station. Uh, in the center of this train station, we have the intercity train lines, and on the far side, we have Châtelet Main Station. Uh, those tracks bisect the two cities, uh, and you'll see as we go through how they differ. Uh, this central station is a bustling hub of bus networks meeting up with the main train lines throughout the region that bring you all across uh, to the most major communities in the region. Uh, now, these bus lines, uh, which we'll be exploring in future episodes, uh, one at a time, uh, they bring the people from the main station down the main artery of both cities, um, and to a multitude of other transit networks. Now, outside of the train station, here you can see the uh, different museums as we move over to the Chatelet uh, side of the tracks. Chatelet likes to pride itself on arts and culture and bettering the human condition rather than just a city of commerce and transport like most cities are. Chatelet is a uh, more along the lines of an old European city, full of artistic collections and performance spaces, um, and uh, a much more community feel about it. Um, the first few blocks, I still did the meticulous placing piece by piece, as you can see in this area, but towards uh, further out from the station, towards the edge of the city, is where I grew impatient and just began zoning. Um, it's, it's evident to me, might not be evident to you. Um, this is Chatelet City Hall here. Uh, as we go by, this is a museum district as we edge over the tracks to Montfort and the major arena for both communities where the local hockey team plays. Uh, you can see in downtown Montfort, we have far more skyscrapers and office towers and hotel buildings. Um, the density is much higher in downtown Montfort, and that is because as we leave downtown Montfort, uh, everything becomes a much lower density, more Brooklyn in style. Um, it's almost sort of that uh, relationship between Brooklyn and Manhattan, where you've got the big, tall canyons of commerce mixed with the lower, more humane neighborhoods with the front stoops. Um, and as you can see, I am no city planner. I am not Phil. Uh, indeed, my cities are imperfect with lots of traffic backups, even though 
in other areas, uh, traffic is moving quite smoothly. Montfort Chatelet has it generally uh, in the area of 75% uh, traffic flow, which for me is lower than usual. I usually hit about 80 to 82%, uh, but that's okay because as I said, this remarkably is a city that works. Here we have the uh, Museum of Craft with the National Film Archives, uh, uh, as an annex, and behind it we have the Contemporary Art Museum. And across the street here, this is the Board of Education of Chatelet, uh, further emphasizing the importance of bettering the human condition in this city and celebrating the expression of people. Um, it's a much more colorful, artful city, uh, yet it, again, um, flows quite well into Montfort without too much of uh, um, a break in the styles or the feel. Now, this region, uh, it will eventually grow out even further, but uh, as I said, my computer usually doesn't handle cities of this size. So before it all crashes, I thought I would rescue uh, an image of it for posterity. Uh, as we leave Chatelet over for the suburbs, we head into Stadium Town, where we have stadiums for both footballs, American, and for the rest of the world, um, as well as a large Stadium Town station, which is the Alexander Platz station, uh, which uh, is definitely my favorite train station of all of those on the workshop, um, mostly because I've been to the real Alexander Platz station, and it's pragmatic. It is light-filled, air-filled, and easy to find your way around, which I find is rare for most train stations. Um, here are the two stadiums surrounded by a few big box developments. We've got some big grocery stores, a big hardware store, and then the outer ring is the suburban area where the people live uh, in small, semi-detached, single-family homes on cul-de-sacs. For those who like to live in those kinds of communities, I wanted to make sure my region had an offering um, for that lifestyle. As we leave Avalon, we head into the industrial areas, um, the freight cargo train stations, the power plants, uh, as well as road maintenance depots, and quite an extensive highway system uh, that was mostly existent with the map when I loaded it. Uh, however, I certainly do a, a great deal of uh, work when I open a new map. Um, I like to lay out the systems first. I like to lay out the main arterial roads, the highways, the railroads, railways, um, just so I know which direction the city will grow in kind of gives me a skeleton, a backbone, if you will, to work off of. Here we have the modest water treatment facility that does more than enough for the region. Uh, as we head over these tracks into Piedmont, which is, uh, I kind of guess, Pied from like uh, the French pied, the feet. So I'm guessing it's like the foothills. So we're still going along with the mountainous theme of Montfort. Um, in Piedmont, and this is the university region, uh, University of Piedmont. Uh, it's an academic university, it's got a track and field stadium, it has all of the professional schools you can get with it. It's uh, all kitted out as best as a university in city skylines can be. Um, it also has a small neighborhood to the side um, over here that for professors who wish to live closer to school and student housing. There's also the major sports park in the corner up there with lots of baseball diamonds. We have uh, volleyball, we have tennis, we have all the major sports. Um, we even have Mediterranean fro frontons, I believe they're called frontons uh, for Portuguese ball game. And then over here we have Besterville, the farmland, where we grow all the food. Um, a lot of the farms are actually supplying the sheep ranches uh, that we have along the edge of the farm town. Besterville, uh, so far the only city in the region named after a person, um, so far, is named after my old grade school secretary, Mrs. Bester, who used to patch up our cuts and bruises with band-aids 
uh, if you were lucky, she wouldn't pull out the iodine bottle. Uh, <laughs> that was back in the day. I don't know. I was just thinking about her one day as the summer was nearing an end, thinking about the beginning of school, and she popped into my head. So I thought, hey, what a wonderful person to name a great town after. Um, so, uh, oh, there's the town of Besterville, as you can see on the edge of the farmland towards the back and the heating power plants back here. Uh, it's a lovely little town, very small, very quaint. Uh, it has a small little commercial area with an Italian restaurant, post office, a pharmacy. Um, the church acts as a school, a library, a post office. Um, it's a multi-purpose building in a small community, which is what you need in such areas. Um, as we move away from Besterville, this area not seen on the map is the oil and mining areas. Uh, so far nameless, um, and just plain didn't fit on that first screenshot with the uh, map areas that I showed earlier. Um, this area is really not all that special, other than the fact that um, I've combined both the oil and the ore industry areas uh, side by side. In the same spirit of Montfort Chalet, two communities sandwiched up against one another, um, they share this giant high school and college, which are quite popular. A lot of people seem to want to take a long bullet train out to the skirts of the city to go to school. Uh, but I have no problem with that. I have a system set up to uh, perform for them. We have steel mills, we have oil wells, we have all the dirty, grungy business and the long chains of cargo traffic <laughs> streaming out of the train station uh, trying to get to their places on time again i am not a city planner i like to think like a city planner i have a huge interest in city design and transport design in architecture and always have i've been playing sim city or some iteration of sim city now for over 30 years which kind of surprises me because in a way I still kind of forget that I'm in my 30s to begin with. But since I knew how to read, I've been playing City Builder games. And that definitely has influenced a lot of the way that I think and the way that I design. Um, I am an illustrator and graphic designer uh, by profession. And architecture and city planning really influences my artwork um, in many ways. Uh, so I, I just like to think of the way that systems work and cities work and people move and amenities uh, provided for people. So City Skylines is really just a behemoth of a game for me to play, hence why my computer normally can't take it, because I kind of get carried away with detailing um, and uh, I create these utopic societies where everybody can live in equality and happiness together. Um, and so that keeps me building these little, these little cities. Uh, here we have the factory processing district. Um, I've been calling it Sirmont, uh, meaning under the mountain, uh, because it's beside the mountain that gives the city of Montfort its name. Um, it's also being the industrial processing center, Sir, uh, in French, uh, meaning underneath, I believe. Sir or Sue, I often get them mixed up because French is not my first language, but that's okay. Sir, I believe, means underneath, uh, kind of referring to the idea or concept of a lower and an upper region, whereas uh, Montfort, Châtelet would be the upper part of the region. This is the less um in the, the the less wonderful area so the lower area um however we do have this wonderful monument to the workers of this city right beside the miyagi motors plant uh there's a train station that leads us right back to the central station in downtown where we can go um, to get reacquainted better with downtown um, now, this train station, the busiest in the region by far, surprisingly only has three uh, lines going into it. As I said, there's the 
Montfort Central Station, the Châtelet Central Station, and between the two are where the intercity trains come and go from the border. Um, now, so busy is this region uh, that it can just be fun just to sit and watch the Sims dance around, like watching ants on a hot summer day swarming around a piece of candy on the sidewalk. Um, it's just entertaining it, and, and, in a way, kind of meditative as well. Uh, it's a great way to people watch during times when you can't get out to crowded areas to people watch, whether you live in a secluded place whether you are living in a lockdown situation or whether you are just an introvert who likes to stay at home, uh, people watching can be a fantastically fascinating activity. City Skylines really does give the opportunity um, for some fantastic people watching and dog watching even. <laughs> Lots of great little dogs, uh, Dalmatians and whatnot. Um, now, here's a greater view of how Montfort develops more along the lines of Brooklyn. I wanted to keep the properties narrow. Um, in purpose, uh, the purpose of that was to, to keep uh, lots affordable and accessible for people. I live in a very big city that has been dealing with a housing crisis for about a decade now, maybe more. Um, so it's important to me in these utopic societies that I create that housing can be accessible for all, or at least most, um, much more affordable. As well, when you have narrower lot lines, you have more density, which leads to a much more vibrant community, a much more walkable community. Um, and it just, it, it, um, it, it leaves the pedestrian to have a better sense of self in the city, uh, more human scale. You don't have to walk and walk and walk for ages before you get to your destination. Um, and there's a good breakup of scenery. Now over to Chatelet's main park, where we still have trees covering the path, which I need to fix that. We have the giant playground in the corner there, uh, as well as this beautiful amphitheater uh, that the Sims seem to be enjoying very mildly. <laughs> the citizens of Chatelet are not party animals, it seems, at least not when they are at the local amphitheater in the park. Um, so this large region, which again, hoping to expand, goes over the river to the forestry area. Now over here, I've created some uh, quote unquote clear cut areas just for realism, as this unfortunately is the way that most forests are uh, logged in today's world. Um, Though I am grateful that's not an option in city skylines to clear cut your whole forests. Uh, this subtropical forest around Montfort Chatelet is quite dense and has lots of uh, specifically grown trees for the timber industry. Alder, beech, conifer, uh, it's all there. We've got the workers' communities, uh, both vanilla from the game as well as a small community that I've created here on the edge, right by the water. Uh, lots of apartment housing. They're all packed in there. Not a lot of amenities, it's true, but it's a short bus ride um, through the working community to the main train station of this area, which takes you right straight to downtown Montfort Chatelet. Um, but we do have some amenities down here and a lot of people get off that bus and walk through this parking lot past the businesses down to their uh, workers' flats. Um, it's really not a bad place to live if, you know, you're just going home to work, uh, just, sorry, going home after work, you know, 5 p.m., you make supper, you kick back, you watch a, a movie or something. Really, you don't need a whole lot uh, when it's that, if you're that close to the city. Again, with the traffic backups. Um, perhaps uh, there will be some people, maybe Biffa could uh, work on that for me, uh, but likely I'll just try to find some 
wonderful workarounds myself. Traffic is forever a problem in every city, so I don't see how there could possibly be any city with zero traffic problems, unless it doesn't have much of a population. Um, I believe I mentioned, though I may be did not, that at the time of this filming, Montfort Chatelet region has an estimated population of between 136,000 and 140,000 people. Um, that, again, is much larger than my computer is usually able to handle. Um, this being the main station of uh, woodland, the forestry and airport area. This is where you you disembark your bullet train from downtown Montfort, the yellow line pulling in right now, and get on the airport shuttle train, which should be pulling into the other platform any moment now, um, to take you one stop to the nearby airport, or you can hop on, oh, there's the airport shuttle up there, or the green buses uh, down below here that stop below the station. Uh, will take you directly to or from the airport in one stop. Um, multiple modes of transportation are very important in a city. This is not only for ease of trans of, of, of flow of transportation, but also for the people who like buses, they can take the bus. For the people who like the streetcar, they can take the streetcar. You like trains better, you hop on a train. Um, this encourages more people to take transit. Uh, I would also like to point out at this moment that almost every street in cities that I build must have bike lanes. I am a cyclist. I love biking. It is important for cyclists to be safe, especially on city streets. Um, so I rarely ever build streets within the city area without bike lanes. The only time I have no bike lanes on streets are like this in the airport, or say around a power plant or the water treatment facility where people are not really going to be biking around so much. Um, I did try to make this airport as basic and simple as possible, though I do relate to pretty much everybody in that I will go back and rejig the runways. I can spend 30 minutes on that before bed at night. Uh, it's never quite working. And as we can see, there's quite a backup here. I'm not quite sure what that's all about, but I think it might be the taxiways. I, I might, I might, uh, there's a big pile up on the runway there. Nothing's moving. I think um going to have to fix this. Um, hopefully it's a quick fix, but <laughs> as I said, you can mostly all relate to trying to get these conflanged runways to work properly um, or or just to work more efficiently than they are. Uh, I know it, it can be quite a trial sometimes to figure out what way these planes need to go. I am no pilot. I am not an air traffic control officer. I, I kind of uh, fly by the seat of my pants, so to speak, when designing airports. I, I'm not one of those diehards to look up airport runways in real life on Google Maps and try to reincarnate them. I usually just kind of go with what works uh, both in the geography and terrain of the area of the airport. Um, you know, working with flight lines along mountains and whatnot, making sure the planes don't crash into the side of a mountain. Oh, I've got to make sure there's uh, the proper utilities for our buildings over here. Let's not neglect anyone. Um, and so I often end up with these little roadblocks in my airport systems. Train systems work fine for me. Streetcar systems, i uh, great at planning them when it comes to airplanes it's a little more complicated than I can manage in my knowledge and understanding of design of city design uh, so we're gonna go about here and maybe try to fix these taxiways so that these planes don't have to keep crossing over each other's paths I think that might be the main issue here um, the linchpin is going to be getting these planes to go in two separate paths. So let's try to drag this over here. 
um, try to make it nice and straight and neat and tidy because I like to think pilots like to be neat and tidy uh, in their movements. Uh, when I'm on an airplane, uh, that's not very often, but when I am, I like to think that the pilot is um, takes it uh, to heart to make sure that everything is done right. So we're going to make sure our taxiways are done right, and it looks to looks as though this has helped at least for the time being. It, it seems like things are moving again, and I think I think this will work for now at least. We'll probably come back for another airport episode eventually. Um, but for now, we'll just float along and we'll look around some other areas. Uh, t towards uh, the city again, but on the other side of the river, is New City, uh, yet to be named. Though I'm leaning towards something French to go along with Montfort Chatelet. And since uh, the main station I've used for this New City is the Liège train station, I'm probably just going to go with something Belgian, French, Wallonche. Uh, so it'll be, uh, maybe Liège, maybe Charleroi, I'm not sure. I might just go ahead and name it French Fry, who knows? Um, but we'll get to that part a little bit later. Right now, this is just, um, as I said, I like to lay out the systems first before a city. So I've kind of built the main square area around here. The main train station's off in the distance with a cruise ship port. Uh, it's going to be laid out and filled in over time. But for now, we've got this lovely, lovely city. I hope to share a lot more of it with you in future episodes. Though this is my very first video, so we'll see how it goes. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope we can do this again soon.